Hello, dragon. Is it all right if I sit next to you? Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Canon Beverly. I can't come and see you in school this week because most of you aren't there. So I thought I'd bring you collective worship from home. This week, we're talking about St George's Day. St George is the patron saint of our country, of England. And in the mythical story, the famous story about St George, he slays a dragon. Don't worry, I'm not going to slay you. You're a friendly dragon, aren't you? In the mythical story, St George, the brave knight, was travelling around when he meet, went to a village. And in the village, everyone was very scared because a dragon had moved in nearby. It had eaten all the village's sheep. And then it had eaten all the village's cows. And then it had eaten all the village's horses and donkeys. And now it had started eating the village's children. That's not very nice, is it? The villagers were planning to give the princess to try to persuade the dragon to go away. When St George came riding in and he said, don't give the princess to the dragon, I will go to the dragon. And George fought the dragon and he killed it. The real St George was a Roman soldier who became a Christian, like me. Except that for St George, being a Christian wasn't allowed. And so he had to fight for it, to fight for his faith. And he was killed for it. So the real St George is as great a hero as the one in the legend. There are lots of legendary stories about brave knights and dragons. There's even a story in the Bible about a terrible dragon that fills people with fear. The brave knight in the Bible that fights the dragon is called St Michael. He's an angel. And St Michael won as well. In those old stories, the dragon always represents the things that we're frightened of. The dragon in English and British culture, and so in Western culture, come, came to represent things we're frightened of. There are other cultures, like in China, where dragons represent friendly things. A Chinese dragon is friendly, but a European dragon is not. It represents our fears. And that's why it was important in the story that St George defeated the dragon. He was taking away the thing that the village was scared of. I wonder if you're scared of anything today. A lot of people are scared of COVID-19. That's the name of that virus that means that we all have to stay at home at the moment. It's also referred to as the coronavirus. A lot of people are scared of it, of what it might be like if they caught it, or if what would happen if someone they loved caught it, or they're scared of being at home or not having their jobs. In a way, for us today, that virus is like the dragon that we're all afraid of. So here's the question. Who is our St George today? In the story of the coronavirus, perhaps St George is the person who's going to slay the dragon. So that might be the scientists 
working hard in their laboratories, looking for a vaccine and a cure, something that will stop the virus from hurting us. Those people are like our modern day St George's. They're going to slay the virus, slay the dragon that scares us. But there are other dragons which we have to fight. Oh yes, you and I have to be St George's too. We have to slay our dragons. And our dragons are the things that make us scared inside. If I was scared because I thought I might catch the coronavirus when I went out, there are things I can do about it. I can make sure I keep two metres away from people. I can make sure I wash my hands very thoroughly when I come in. I can keep the rules and stay safe. And that way, I will be taming my dragon. I don't need to slay it. My dragon will be fine if I just tame it. Like this dragon here. You're quite tame, aren't you? You're quite friendly. Because if what I'm scared of is something I can fix, I can tame my dragon. I can discover that living in isolation isn't so scary after all. There are lots of things that scare us. Spiders, getting low marks at school, big cars, loud noises, being in the dark. Lots of things frighten people and they're like dragons. Things we're scared of, but we can tame them or we can slay them. We can make them go away or we can make them our friends. We can discover that being in the dark is all right. Actually, it quite helps us get to sleep. We can discover that being on our own isn't so bad either because we can play and use our imagination just as well by ourselves. And we can call up our friends and talk to them still. What are your dragons right now? I want to ask you to be St George. Wrap yourself up in the armour that makes you a George. Perhaps you can wrap yourself up in a flag the George's flag, like this. Make yourself brave. Tell yourself, I'm not scared of the dragon. I can tame it. I can tame it by washing my hands, or by phoning my friend, or by asking for help, or I can ask somebody else to help me make it go away. This week, if you pray, if you, like me, believe in God, perhaps you can be a St George of prayer, praying for dragons to go away or be tamed. Most especially, will you pray for the real life St Georges working in laboratories looking for a way to slay the dragon of the coronavirus. I'm going to say a prayer now. If you believe in praying and agree with me, perhaps you could say Amen at the end. Dear God, please bless all the scientists working in their laboratories. Please give them wisdom and insight and help them to find a cure and a vaccine for the COVID-19 coronavirus. Lord, make them dragon slayers, slaying the dragon of the virus. And Lord, please make us dragon tamers too, 
taming the dragons of the things that make us scared in our everyday lives. Amen. Well, my dragon's quite tame. I think he might be ready for his daily exercise, in fact. Is it time for a walk? I think it might be. It was lovely to see you. I hope I see you again soon. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. Come on, dragon. Let's go and get that exercise. Oh, my goodness, you've put on weight. Have you been eating all that Easter chocolate?